And color is a super nice feature that Katie recent, <sighs> recently implemented and it allows you to actually choose what color to use uh, like in your panel when in highlighting one applet or a task and uh, pretty much anywhere, even the folder colors. And that's pretty nice. However, some people rightfully ask for uh, something similar to be implemented but automatically taking the colors from the background. And that does make sense. I mean, if you have a green background, then you should have green colors. That would look good. And something like that is in the works and maybe could be in the next KD Plasma version, who knows? But what we sure have is third-party plugins because I mean, it's KD Plasma. Of course, we can have third-party plugins for anything we want. Let me show you this is KDE Material U Colors Beta. And it promises a lot and it delivers. So let's see, this is the presentation video and then I am actually going to show you how it works in practice. And the idea is that you can customize it. As an example here, it's um, light uh, scheme, um, color scheme versus dark color scheme. And then you just run a command and then, or when you change wallpaper, if you have a slideshow and it just updates all of your colors. And it's actually using floating applets probably because it's Latidoc, so that looks cool. Let me show you how it works. So I've installed it, it's not particularly di uh, difficult. And this is it just running simply with my default wallpaper. wallpaper. And it looks pretty good. And I also noticed that even in OBS, which I'm using to record, yes, the title bar is that color, but also profile here disabled. And also the stop recording button uses that color. So everything is rather consistent. That's nice. But let's try it with uh, some different wallpaper, some different stuff. And for this, since it's very inspired by Google, I think it's try to add a desktop, sorry, a desktop widget to it, like yours. Because, you know, Google plays a lot on this idea of having uh, the widgets on your desktop be the same color. So let's change the wallpaper to Altai as an example. And boom, that was it. Automatically set to a new color. Let's try something else. Cluster as an example, I'm expecting purple. And purple it is. As a test, you could even go into plain color and select a plain color like this and it dies. So it's useful to do this kind of tests because sometimes it just doesn't work. Let's get back to wallpapers. This one is green. Let's see green. <laughs> Kitty Plasma broke. Hello. As I was saying, green and everything becomes indeed green and it lo looks gorgeous. Also because the Kitty panel is transparent, which means that uh, it also picks up some of the color from the wallpaper directly, but also all of the apps using this color tinted to the background is really pretty. Now, it is worth noting that this doesn't actually change the accent color itself, which stays the same, this pretty bad color that I've selected, but rather it changes the actual colors of the application. And if we go into system setting, we should be able to see this. So you, we've got Material U Dark Color Scheme, which is the one that's automatically generated that uses the color generated from the wallpaper. Let's change it again and see how it goes. This should be purple. And you can see here that all of the colors are again generated to be purple now. Let's try to do a, a light color scheme. So we've got a usage, which is pretty useful. And in order to go light, we go with dash L, let's try it. And this is the same, but lighter. And we can see that it is uh, less noticeable, but the color is still there and it's tinted purple. Let's try something else to see if it's more visible, like Milk Way. And now it's slightly purplish as well. Ice cold should be blue. Y you see this, it it's pretty nice because it's slightly tinting the background color. And the concept is very similar to the one that Mika has from Windows 11, if you know what I'm talking about. It takes the color from the background and just slightly tints the application with it. One more. I mean, just look at this. This is particularly looking good. What can I say? I, I just love this. 
personally, I love messing with colors and that's why I loved this uh, panel being transparent thing. I devoted a lot of time in making the panel as nicely transparent as possible. And I think that applying a custom color to the panel even before it is transparent and then also to all of the application results in something that's like super pretty. I just love this. One more, one more. I, I just can't stop. I mean, wow. So this is now officially my absolute favorite uh, third party plugin. Will this ever be implemented in KD Plasma? I kind of find it hard to believe. Now, what is going to happen for sure, uh, sooner or later, is use accent color will get a new option, which is from wallpaper. We don't know when it's going to be implemented, hopefully soon, but uh, we can know. What could be implemented in my opinion, and this is surely something that's not going to happen soon, but I mean, I can hope, I guess, is adding another option. And I know that's a lot of options, but I mean, it's KDE. Can't I have an option for one time that I ask for it? Another option to use the accent color to tint uh, the uh, background colors of the apps. That way, if you both have enabled use accent color from background and tint apps with the accent color, then you would get this. But you could also select any accent color and it would nicely work. So I just love this feature. I hope you do too. And if you do, go check it out and try it. I will probably keep it. Can I keep it? Can I keep it? I can keep it, right? I, I just love it. I just love it. That, that's it. If you like this video, please consider making a donation because I do this for free in my free time and it really helps to have some economical sustain. And otherwise, you know, no pizzas and no pizzas is really bad. So thank you everybody and see you tomorrow probably or Monday uh, with another video.